Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Gonzo Airsoft. I'm Major Clanger, and at the moment I am legging it. Stop behind the APCs. No, carry on a little bit further. This game filmed at Edinburgh Airsoft on the 15th of April was one of the last games played of the day and a bit unusual for the site. Uh, this is a free-for-all game. Uh, basically everyone is out for themselves. Taking some cues from first-person shooters, trying a bit of side strafing. See if I can hit this guy. Just managed to clip him before he hits me. What we're trying to do in this game is get back to our start point and touch a designated pallet for 10 seconds. Anyone who manages to do that will win the game. Now my strategy right from the start was to bolt it up that fire break, try and get as far away from everyone else as possible and then sweep in from behind hoping that no one is behind me and try to pick off people and make my way to the final point. So you see I'm proceeding pretty cautiously here after taking out that first guy. Ideally I want to be trying to take people by surprise, dispatch them with a the minimum amount of fuss, because any fire will draw the attention of anyone else who is close by and the worst thing that can happen in this situation is you take someone out and then you end up getting popped from behind. So advancing a few meters at a time, then stopping, listening, looking around, all around. I think I've spotted someone over by the blue barrels, so I'm not that keen to move on, but I've decided it's clear now. So again, stopping, taking a look around. Uh, there's probably about 15 people or so playing. Uh, like I say, it was towards the end of the day. Uh, a few people had drifted off, and these free-for-all games aren't for everybody. But uh, they can be a bit of fun. So I spot someone just in the far distance here. Possibly slightly recklessly, I'm going to try and take a couple of shots. But I quite quickly realised that the person I'm shooting at is well out of the range of the weapon I'm using. Now, the more observant of you may have spotted that this is a different gun from my usual one. Unfortunately, my usual uh, weapon, the G36K, the Ares G, uh, G36K, uh, broke at the start of this game day. So I'm using a JG G36C, uh, which was uh, graciously lent to me by the uh, guys who run the site, the uh, good guys at Land Warrior. I've spotted someone else in the distance here, still out of my range. I don't want to open fire because that's going to draw attention. So I'm just keeping a bead on him and letting him pass further up. Uh, hopefully I can get him to think that there's no one behind him and move up for a kill later on. And indeed, as I'm moving up, that same fella, he's moved slightly further up and he's now making his way to uh, the set of barricades. Now this is pretty close to the final point. 
So he's probably not going to be paying much attention to his back. He's more concerned about moving forward. So I'm going to try and take a, a few shots at him. Uh, I don't hit him, but I do scare him off. And he's now taking a bolt for the barricade. So I want to try and press in. Try and catch him on the hop. Now at this point, because we're getting very close, caution's pretty much going out the window. I just now try, need to try and eliminate him as quickly as I can. I get a shot off, but as it leaves my barrel, I'm hit. Nice shot. What I didn't realise as I fired, I hadn't actually yeah. managed to hit him with that shot through that little window oh. and square between the eyes. He's pretty stunned. He didn't realise he got me... So we were a double kill, we were both out. So it looks like it wouldn't have mattered anyway. That's game end called. Someone had made it to the pallets and touched them for 10 seconds. So neither of us would have made there. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I'm working on a couple more edits at the moment. I hope to get them up fairly soon. So please stay tuned. This is Major Clanger out.